Hello everyone, it's Cryptoguns here and welcome to part two of the 5k subscriber special. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A and reading some of your suggestions for the channel and yeah that's pretty much it. It's going to be a pretty basic video. Today I'm going to be announcing some new merch so stay tuned for that and then we're going to be reading off the q and I'll be answering a bunch of questions that you guys have asked and a lot of them are goofy so and after that I'll be reading some suggestions for the channel which weren't really that helpful after all. <laughs> this will all be taking place outdoors so we're not going to be in here and there's no screen screen set up so yeah this is kind of a lame background so we're going for the outdoor setting instead anyways just real quick i just wanted to thank you guys so much for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers it means so much to me and it was quite a rough journey and now that we're finally here we have succeeded the second milestone but again, thank you very much for those who have subscribed and helped me get here and shown all your support for my channel. It greatly means a lot to me. I do this for you guys and it really shows that you guys are enjoying my content. Let's get this video started and let's head outside. Take a look at the stars, can reach if you want to. Don't be afraid to change cause the people don't want to. Be who you want to, dream if you want to. Always be yourself and the people will know you. you don't care what the people say. You know we're gonna do it big anyway. You know we're gonna do it big anyway. You know we're gonna do it big anyway. See, I be up in class, but my mind is in the clouds, though. Know the teacher's mad, cause my music beating loud, ho. Tell me keep it down, say I kill it on the down low. And if I turn it up, then I'm back. Alright, welcome to the QA. I am currently outside, and it's a bit chilly out. Uh, let's check the temperature real quick. It's really cold. It is currently, ah, uh, I forgot to add footage. As you can see, it's currently 43. Um, it's not as bad as it was earlier, but um, it's going to get colder today, so now's a great time to get this done and over with. Um, I'm still a bit sick, so I was going to record this last week, but I ended up getting cold, and I felt really shitty, so that didn't really happen, and now I'm here. I am very proud to finally announce that I have released new merch for the 5,000 subscriber special. It is exactly what I'm wearing, except the, the main logo is going to be in the center, and I have this design in the back. So if you want to cop yourself a shirt and show some support, check the link below and buy one right away. If you end up buying me one and you want to show it off, DM me on Discord, and join the Discord if you already aren't on it. It's in the description as well. Anyways, let's start this Q&A. So I have created this Google Forms, and I have um, told a lot of people to throw in a bunch of random questions. So we're going to be looking at this first, and then I also have a Discord channel for the Q&A. We're going to look at that right after. So let's start with the first question. So, uh, question, let's see, here we go. All right. What the dog doing? So someone on my floor decided to ask this 45 times. So here you go. I decided to showcase this question in the video. And yeah, thanks for sending that 45 times. I'm not going to answer it 45 times because uh, that wouldn't be very fun for me. So, what's my age? 18? Gua? Yes. Am I the sussy imposter? I don't know. Am I? Do you like Fumos? I really like Fumos. When and why did you start coding? Um, I'd say I started around... Probably knit, probably seventh grade, about that. I just started screwing around with HTML and JavaScript and just made some really basic stuff that wasn't really good at all. And then I moved on to Unity a year after and I wasn't good at it after, so I didn't really learn too much. I wanted to make a survival game <laughs> and it really didn't turn out good. I wish I still had the files, but they're lost on my old Mac somewhere. Um, and then I started taking some computer science classes and that finally got me to work on crypto clickers and it got me to learn a lot more. So yeah, I start, anyways, that answer was a lot longer than I was expecting, but I started around seventh grade. So that was about six years ago, five, six years ago. And why did I start coding? I don't know, because it's fun. It's something I'm good at now. Will you make out with RM Barts? Nah, I don't think so. Hello, my name is Ray Z, a man you've never met. May I purchase 10,000 helicopters covered in diamonds? I'm addicted to buying unbelievably expensive custom helicopters. In a brief moment of lucidity, I went to the helicopter dealership and told them, do not, under any circumstances, sell me more helicopters. I was back there half an hour later wearing a fake mustache, and I said, hello, gentlemen, I am Ray Z. 
A demand you have never met before. Give me 10,000 helicopters covered in diamonds. Oh. Thank you, uh, Sawyer. What us? The significance of arm barts. I don't know. We just hate them. What it felt like to get my first 100,000 total views on the channel. Uh, I, it's supposed to sound big, but honestly, not that much. Views is like a kind of an odd milestone to me. Um, and I've, I also have another YouTube channel that reached a million views and I didn't really care. So maybe when this channel hits a million, it'll be different, but I kind of care more about, I don't know. I don't really care too much, I guess. How and why did you start coding? What is the best and worst thing about having a big community? Um, so this is kind of a duplicate question for part of it. Um, so how did I start coding? Um, I don't really know how. I just like started doing random stuff. And I don't know. I just played some basic clicker games and I wanted to make my own, except make it a huge meme. Some of my friends may remember, but I made Box Clicker. It was a very basic one. It was just about this giant meme in middle school. It was really stupid, but that's kind of how it all started. And uh, what is the worst? What is the worst thing about having a big community? Um, it's it's kind of hard to like know what everyone wants because like I want to host all these events, but it's it's kind of hard to keep everyone up to date with stuff. And I don't know. It's gonna it's because everyone wants different things, I guess. And I just don't really know what to do. It's a bit hard. And another thing about it's not like the worst thing. It's just hard. Another hard thing about it is so, yeah. I'm kind of answering this a lot differently, but because it's not really a bad. There's no really bad things about it other than having like really bad members but like that never happens so I can't really say that but another hard thing is entertaining people because I'm just always worried about um, what if my server is just too boring stuff like that and what how can I improve it it's just really hard to know what everyone wants and the best thing about it is to be able to connect with everyone because so the server is kind of built around my games and my YouTube so it's kind of um, nice to hear feedback and uh, good things about everything and I get to ask everyone questions about it and yeah it's nice to interact with people and have a big community that enjoys what I do, so it's really nice. How are you pro game developer? I am not. Why did you choose Unity over other game engines? Well, I've just used Unity for the longest, and I mean, I've tried um, Unreal. I never really got the hang of it, and I, so I just stuck with Unity. That's really the only reason why. What made you start slash learn Unity? Oh, start YouTube, learn Unity. So, um... Well, it was when I wanted to, it's when I started making Crypto Clickers, kind of. Um, there weren't very many good Unity tutorials specifically for idle games, so I was like, you know what, I'll make my own. So I started with the 2019 series, I made that, and I really enjoyed it. But the series wasn't good enough, so I just started making other videos, and then I eventually started making the 2020 series, which is what most of you guys are probably watching. And I just honestly kept going from there, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy teaching people um, because I have definitely had some struggles learning myself. So I felt like if I took whatever I've learned over the years and just put it on YouTube, I feel like other people could benefit from it. And that's what I really enjoy about it. What made you start learning? I don't know if this is asking what made me start learning Unity or what made me learn Unity. I guess I'll just say start. I've said this already, but I wanted to make a survival game, so I went off of Bracky's and a few other people's survival game series, and it completely failed. So, I used to, I have a, a Unity Answers account. I don't know if it's still up, but if it is, if you were to go to my oldest questions, you would see stuff related to that. Like, I was trying to make like a tree fall or stuff like that, and it was just not working. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well, other than the fact that I'm still kind of sick, which I'm really pissed about because it's just getting in the way of things. Wall color reveal? Well, it's white, so there you go. How long do you take to release Compacto? Uh, I don't really know what that means. Like, I don't know. I had the game a month, ready in a month in advance, and I mean, I've worked on it for a total of six months, but a lot of that was just empty gaps. So, I don't know if that's the answer you're looking for. Why won't you ban Armbarts and why isn't Waddle's head admin? I don't know. 
How's your life in college? Uh, it's pretty good, honestly. Uh, I'm really enjoying it on campus, and surprisingly, I have more free time than I was expecting. But that's probably because I'm not taking a lot of core classes, like a lot of others are. So, yeah, I'm ready to get my ass whooped next semester. <laughs> but other than that, the food's all right. Life is pretty good. Uh, I made a lot of friends, and they're all really nice and supportive. They're really cool people. All right, so now it's time to look at the Discord. So again, I made a channel for asking questions since people weren't really asking many questions on the Google forums. So I was like, you know what? I should have made this on Discord. A lot of people would have just gone on there and just asked random questions. So that's exactly what I did. What inspired me to become a game developer? So when I started making games, I thought it was really fun. I did it for jokes and stuff like that. But then when I realized that I could make, okay, so this is when I was starting to make Crypto Clickers. When I realized that I could publish this game and have other people play it, and eventually turn that into a business, I thought it was really fun and um, it would be a nice side hustle. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So as a game developer, I make the game, I publish the game, I monetize the game, I do all that kind of stuff. And I thought it was really fun. So what, but what exactly inspired me? I looked up to a lot of game developers, smaller game developers like me, except they're a little bigger than me. Um, but I always looked up to them and I saw how successful they were, and I thought that I would have a chance of doing the same thing because I have similar skills. So that was probably my, like my big inspiration. What do you eat? Um, I, I eat honestly anything that is good. Uh, if, I were to, if I were to have my favorite type of food, it would probably be Italian. And also, when do you sleep or do you even sleep? No, I don't sleep at all. Why use C Sharp? Well, I use Unity, and Unity uses C Sharp, so there you go. Also, I've learned Java in the past and that's what got me to learn C Sharp a lot faster because they're both very very similar. What does my daily routine look like? Well on a school day it's get up at 7.30, no 7 to 7.30 in the morning, depends on the time of the class and how many classes I have that day. Take a shower, make coffee, have a protein bar, have classes, do homework, watch some Netflix if I don't have anything going on, work on my game, stuff like that, slack off, procrastinate, and then I have lunch, and then I go to the gym around all my or after all my classes, which is around four o'clock ish. And then come back, make a protein shake, go eat dinner, come back, do whatever I need to get done. So if I don't have any homework, I just do whatever I want, and then I go to bed. Yeah, that's pretty much my routine. Otherwise, it's not that very special. The thing that adds to my daily routine is making smoothies. I love making smoothies. Got one prepared right here. It's got some frozen fruit, bananas, cherry. Uh, hold on, let me get the fruit. Frozen fruit, it's got some berries. And then I have cherry flavored Greek yogurt, milk, and it should be good to go. Let's kick it. It's your birthday today. Zach. What is my social security number? It is one. What non-incremental games do you like? I've recently got into Phasmophobia, and I've started to play that with my friends, and it's a really fun game. I've been wanting to play it for months, but no one else wanted to play it until, for some reason, just in the middle of college, when I barely have time to play games with them, they decided to play it. So I ended up getting it and had a chance to play with them, and it's a lot of fun. I also really like Rainbow Six Siege, but I never really have time to play that, so... Oh! Carter asks again, what the dog doing? I don't know, what is the dog doing? How much arson do you commit per day? What is your favorite part of developing idle research? Um, okay, I don't wanna seem like, this is a, I don't wanna seem like I have a lot of ego for this, but I think my favorite part of it is realizing that I am creating a game that can become something big. Like, in compared to larger, um, idle games it can be somewhere in the in the ballpark I, I guess like again I don't want to seem like I have a big ego but like I have done my best to balance and design the game so it could be really balanced and really fun to play for people that like idle games and that can also kind of match up against those bigger titles another favorite part of developing it is making the art making the art is so much fun that is something I've never really done in the past until idle research you guys have probably seen the flask, the tubes, all that game art. That is all just so much fun to make. And that was honestly, like, one of the things I'm really proud of in idle research is the art. Because that is just, like, that is just, like, 
something new that I've never done before. Why is Armbart so awesome? Just because he is. Why do you think I am an AI? Because I coded you, that's why. I also just wanted to say that, why do you think I'm an AI CG? I coded him to say that, so... Why don't you let people appreciate your bad works? Because it's embarrassing. I had some really not so good projects. Like on Google, there's Idle Impulse Incremental, something like that. I hated that game with a burning passion, and people somehow enjoy it. I don't know, I hate the game. I never want to talk about it. <laughs> and one of the main reasons why I hate it is that if you were to look at the game scene in Unity, everything is open at once. All the windows, they're just all scattered everywhere. And when you open something, it just slides right over. So it's just so poorly optimized, and it's just so embarrassing to see. It makes me cringe. <clears throat> what inspired you to make incremental games? Um, I gotta be honest, I've enjoyed playing them as a child, and I always wanted to make my own, and therefore I have. And when I made Crypto Clickers, I realized that the fundamentals of making an incremental game is pretty easy compared to other games. It's just the balancing part, and making the game actually good is really hard. And when I made Crypto Clickers and Compacto, and started working on idle research, I have realized that I have kind of mastered the incremental game scheme. I have kind of figured out how to balance things and how to make things kind of, you know, somewhat entertaining and how to not bore people out. So that's pretty much what inspired me. Do you have any plans for non-incremental games in the future? Well, I want to give the survival game thing a try again because I feel like I could do much better. It's just making 3D models is really hard, so that's definitely not my field. And I wanted to make like a Stardew Valley game, except like it's space related. I tried that, I uploaded a few videos on that, and I kind of failed. It was just really hard and out of my skill level, so I'm sure I'll tackle it again in the future. Why is the music so scary? I don't know, I don't research music isn't that scary, come on. How do you balance your games? Well, I played a shit ton, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, I just, I just do it, you know? One advice I've, one piece of advice I've been given was to play the game at 10 times speed and if anything is too slow, speed it up. If anything, if anything is way too fast, slow it down. I never actually use that trick because I just feel like, I don't know, I don't want to make the game accidentally too long because again, 10 times game speed is really fast, but I have done like two times speed. So just to speed things up because Balancing an entire game, playing an entire game through multiple times takes a lot of time, so I don't know. I just play it until I enjoy it, right? And then if I have my beta testers play it, if they think it's too slow or too fast in certain spots, I kind of change things around and then I replay that certain area and I just go from there. So it's a lot of just tweaking and seeing if people like it. Why are you obsessed with FUMO? Anyways, that is it for the Q&A. Next up, let's see what the plan is. All right, so the next part of this video is to go through all your suggestions. Um, I didn't really ask on YouTube, but on my Discord, I asked people to provide recommendations for the 5K video. And let's see what we got. All right, so the first one is the Serializer series. So show us how to use uh, each Serializer, big double attack system tutorial, how to build games in Unity. So yeah, I'm not gonna do this for this video, but these are just some general ideas I could probably use in the future, other than the Serializer series, because I don't wanna teach that. Counting to 1 million and playing lots of incremental games. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You playing Synergism for one hour and see how far you get. I don't really want to play that. Especially for the first hour is kind of boring in my opinion. Do a stream where you do stuff with Scratch. Oh god, that brings back some freshman year and 8th grade. Maybe 7th grade as well memories. Eh, I don't want to do that. I know I'm saying no, but like, there's a lot in here. Tutorial on how to cut a cantaloupe. <laughs> I would, but I don't have one on me right now. Wow. Make out session with arm bars. What is with you guys, with me wanting to make out with arm bars? You know what? Let's just kick him. My God. Is that what you guys really want? Is this really what you guys want to see? There you go. He's gone. You happy now? You can go to the welcome channel and you see he's gone. All right. Is that what you guys wanted? Wall color reveal. Wow. It's white. But right now there's no walls around me, so. Mm -hmm. Ban arm bars. Okay, well I just did that, so you're in luck. q and I just did that. Yes. NIL. q and No. Wow, these are some great recommendations, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. You guys are really good at this. 
All right, so now another challenge is to see how long it takes for um, arm bars to realize that he's banned. So hopefully by the end of this video, I'll get a DM from him and I'll show you guys. So the last thing on my agenda was to do, uh, was to run a 5K live, which I actually have. And if you haven't seen that already, make sure you go check it out real quick and give it a like. You don't have to watch it all, but just give it a like because I don't like running. So, and running up a mountain was kind of, or it wasn't really a mountain. It was just, I don't know. It was a lot of elevation, but it wasn't very fun. So make sure to give a like to just support. And I ran that 5K specifically for the first 5,000 people that subscribed to my channel. And for the first 5,000 people that have subscribed to this channel, thank you very much for subscribing and for riding this journey along with me. It means a lot and I could have done it without you guys. I would not have been making this video right now if it wasn't for you guys and I really appreciate all your support. The journey here has been kind of bumpy. Um, I was hoping it would be more smoother than this, like as in I will make a video and then publish it and I'll do that every day. But that clearly hasn't been the case. I've been very on and off uh, with my uploading schedule lately and I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying my best. But also knowing that 5,000 of you are still subscribed to this channel means a lot to me and it knows that you guys really appreciate what I do for you guys. My main mission is to spread the words of coding and game development and to be able to teach you guys something new every day. And I really hope I can keep doing that for you guys. Anyways, this is getting really wholesome. I just wanted to say thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and for being here and for supporting what I do and for being here ever since the start. So anyways, this is the 5K special Q&A video. It was mostly Q&A. Um, I didn't really get to do too much, and I hope that's okay. Um, I feel like once I get, once I hit bigger milestones, I'll do even more stuff. I just gotta kind of figure out ahead of time what I should do because I really want to do something big for each milestone. So, but anyways, if you guys have watched all the way to the end, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support, and I really hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell if you want to be notified for when I have upload videos. Leave a like on this video if you want to support it. So yeah, this has been the 5K sub special. It's a very beautiful day out. It's actually starting to warm up a bit, which is nice. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. But my mind is in the clouds though Know the teacher's mad cause my music being loud ho. Tell me keep it down, say I kill it on the down low And if I turn it up then I'm bound to attract the crowd So no wonder me and Tim be out of state Doing things you can't imagine Chris Angel on the mic, give me a beat, I'll show you magic We born in different places